It's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Why get in the building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. MD Mama. Hey, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, I'm calling me this. MD Mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Mm. Anything uh, happening this weekend? What are your plans? Ah, uh, maybe I, I can use this opportunity to lament. Okay. The bill I got from Nepal last month is like 1.3 million. <laughs> it has steadily well, increased from 300 well, something uh -huh. to 400 something to 700. Right on this show. Right on this show. And we now knew when, I knew when you were complaining when it was 300. Three. <laughs> I think we have three AC inside shrine. <laughs> so what is that AC? Um, is it the deep freezer? I don't know what is stopping the. Are <laughs> sure they're not? So I think maybe they have increased it secretly without telling people. Mm. Okay, no problem. Then this will five hundred a week. Mm. I beg. How do you want to? How can the business? Survive? How can the business survive? Five hundred and thirty-eight. I mean sixty-four. Wow. I mean thirty maybe. Every week. So it's not as if they're giving you a bill of 1.3 million and giving you constant light. Too. It's like you'll be sweating. You'll be sweating inside. You say, oh, but you dare not put on generator because of the bill? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I even oh, have friends man. coming to me. So they must on that gym today. To That's frustration. If I'm alone in the office. Thank you very much. Just That's the reality of what business owners are going through. Ah. It's really crazy. I mean, it's not easy. Hmm. Ah. It's not easy. Don't you, you come, come to my office anywhere. and just jam my office. You meet there, everywhere is dark. Any room where there's nobody, the reception, the, the only reception will have light. The passage everywhere else dark. If you see light, it's because as you were coming in, we are crew, crew, crew. We quickly switch out the lights <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, hey, how are you doing, Nima? <clears throat> uh, is Mama's birthday. Yay! Hey. 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 our producer. Um, okay, wow. hey, it's Mama's birthday. It's oh, Mama's yeah. birthday. Oh. Is she around? I've see not her. seen her this bit, morning. She's was She's strong, strong last time. Okay. Happy birthday, sis. Many more fruit. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Prosperous years. Nice, nice. Mm. How are you doing, Tokwe? I'm grateful to God. Um, I, I, I said I want to do priest party. <laughs> when when band gave me bill, <laughs> I was asking myself. Not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking, decorator gave me bill. I was asking myself again. I'm like, who sent you message? You know you are the Jebu girl. You have to calculate everything. So I decided that I would use the opportunity to start making noise about the sales we're doing. Um, if you check on social media on my business page, you will see details about the sale. But after the show today, I'm going to support my cousin. My cousin does freight business and it's been, it's been growing steadily. So this Christmas, she has called me about a month ago to say, whenever you come back, please come to my place and do a video for me that your followers should ship things abroad. So right. I'm going to go there. And wow. yes, now that, you now that I've mentioned it, I'll yeah. go there and do it for you. I have books that are constantly from Canada. I'm constantly having been looking for yes. books to help me take it abroad. I mean, uh -huh. I, I have to get my brother to get help a, you pack a few. But mm. the, the other subsequently, in, yeah, it's been nice to have somebody mm. who can take it away. Well, nice. We are, we are your Good. plug. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's go on a quick break now. When we return, we'll look at the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Banks fail CBN stress tests on foreign operations. NJC clears 11 justices for Supreme Court. Umahi orders contractor back to site on 199 billion Naira Bodo Boni Road in Rivers. Remain strong in terrorism battle, minister urges military. Rivers House sits accuses Fubara of withholding funding. And Tinubu, lack of synergy holds down West Africa's development. Okay, still we're starting with in the nation. Okay, maybe I should just start with the good news of the justices. So um, in, for the first time in a long while, the Supreme Court will now be fully constituted of 21 justices, according to the Director of Information of the NJC, Adia. 104th meeting held yesterday. The council has considered the list of the candidates presented to, uh, for inter by, to it for interview by the interview committee. And 11 of uh, some of the Court of Appeal justices will be also promoted to the, elevated to the Supreme Court. And one of them is Justice Abiru. Of course, I'm very, very <laughs> delighted to know my Lord Justice Abiru is a part of them. 
And so we we'll have that the Senate is pending, of course, the approval of the President and the Senate. So good news okay. to, to the judiciary. All right, let me take this, uh, the major headline. I was trying to see if it goes the name of the banks. So eight commercial banks have fallen short of the capital adequacy ratio, CAR, required for international authorization. The stress test conducted by the CBN has shown so far that these eight banks uh, have been affected. They put under pressure to raise their capital base to bridge the gap, which was brought about by the depreciation of the Naira against the dollar and all the foreign agencies. Um, these, they said, um, through its 2021 guidelines, CBN had mandated the deposit banks to maintain a prudential CAR, 10% of national and regional banks. Unfortunately, these eight banks fell short of that. Uh, the decline in the bank CAR was attributed to decrease in total qualifying capital relative to increase risk-weighted assets due to Naira's depreciation. Unfortunately, they didn't mention the names of the bank, so there's no panic it out there to go and say yes. but they need to raise their capital base in order to be strong. It's just about their win. ability to fulfill international transactions. They are the kind of banks that you pay in dollar into to help you fulfill children's school fees and mm. the money will not reflect or you have your card abroad and you cannot do international transactions because they can't meet right. up with the exchange. I want to take the story. It's a follow-up story concerning the military. Um, what happened on Sunday, really sad story about the numbers keep increasing of number of lives lost. But I'm taking the perspective of the Minister for State for um, Defense, that's Belu Matawali. He has urged the military to remain steadfast, said that they shouldn't let their spirits be dampened by the um, mishap, that what, what re, the regrettable incident is the word he used, that despite the regrettable incident, that they should continue their fight against insurgency and terrorism. He said he, this while visiting the survivors, and he was at the Baral Diko Teaching Hospital in Kaduna State. He said that they're not going to relent the fights. He commiserated with the families of those who have lost their lives and those who survived. And he said that um, the, fight, the, the military should keep their spirit up. They should continue in the fight against insurgents. And um, I know that there's been a lot of people say, talking about this mistake or this mishap um, that led to the loss of lives. But we are hoping that the, spirit, the, the military don't get their spirits dampened by the feedback they are getting from people. Yeah. So I wanted to take the um, political crisis in River State. So the lawmakers who are um, loyal to the FCT minister held plenary behind closed doors <laughs> yesterday. We are at their assembly complex with tight security. Meanwhile, there has been a court order for them not to hold, but they've gone against the, the court order and they're holding their sessions and they have accused the governor of withholding funds mm. for running of the House of Assembly. But that will not deter them. They will continue. They will continue mm -hmm. doing their work whether he withholds funds or not. Meanwhile, um, they have also removed the former chief, the chief, I don't know if he's former, because court, you know in Nigeria, we don't obey court again. <laughs> so, uh, the court, they, they've removed the former chief, whip, or the chief whip, Ehi, what's his name again? Mm. Anyway, his name is Ehi something, and they've put in uh, chief whip Major Jack as the new majority leader, who was, Sorry, he was the majority leader. He was the majority leader. So they put in Major Jack and put in Franklin Umwabuchi as the new chief whip. Right. Okay. okay. Moving on now to the punch. Kaduna village bombing protesters storm National Assembly. AI um, threatens suit. Deaths reach 127. Um, that's Amnesty International, yes. Threatens suit. 346 billionaire voted for presidential just refreshment states on others. FG loses six, $161 million to nine-year conflict with Intel, says NPA. Supreme Court, 11 justices skill NJC hurdles await Tinubu's nod. FG votes 50 billionaire for student load. Family mourns Nigerian lady strangled to death in UK. Suspected ritualist dismember OAU student sells part to Ogun Yahoo boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's just, let me take the story of the um, Nigerian lady strangled to death. Um, Nurse Owe Yetai Omoreni Keji um, was found dead in her apartment so in the sad. UK along, and just by her side was her husband. So she had called the police a day before reporting some abuse in the house. And the next day when the police came in to check it out, they found her 
lifeless on the floor. He tried and they found no, no pulse, but they saw her husband who was immediately arrested. She's a mother of three. She just relocated to the UK and her husband just recently joined her in the UK. Mm. Um, as I guess, the rumors were that it was about financial issue that they had started fighting about, but we were here to see. In family this members have started posting, so this punch article just captured all her friends and families post on social media, you know, mourning her. But the issue had been happening here, or what? No, they didn't. Mm. They didn't. Just, she just 2022. Yes. And he that just joined her. He joined her recently. And he came to come and kill her. Yeah, he joined her and killed her. Oh, God. Really sad. So sad. The, so um, the, go ahead, you want to say sorry? The composing body of an 18-year-old 100-level student from OAU was found in a, in a shallow grave. Um, apparently, they had killed him for rituals. They had sold his core, uh, his oh, head. Oh, God. So, can you, it's just a... I was reading the story and I was, oh, oh. they, they sold all of his body parts and the police found it, him through his phone. One of the people who killed him had his phone and that's how they were able to trace mm -hmm. where his body okay. is. They've arrested two of them. Uh, they, they, they sold, uh, uh, if, like if, if, if Edel was alleged to have gone with Quarry's head and his two wrists and paid the sum of 100,000 to Hakim Usman's account as proceeds hmm. of the killing. Human of beings. Parts. Human beings. Selling human, human, human parts. This has to be killed like immediately. I mean, I don't even know where there's this. Is it unfortunate? They still have to be sure. They continue to sell his body to internet fraudsters. They buried the hearts and two legs. I mean, then they put the flesh inside a plastic rubber for rituals. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, it's a yeah. very, very, very terrible graphic, way to die. Horrific, Honestly. horrific way to die. Let me take the... Um, I think I have a story. Let me go and uh, let, me see, let me see how much story. I have a story here. I can't even remember the story I took. Okay, yeah, federal government voted 50 billion naira um, in the budget, 2024 budget, for the implementation of a student loan scheme. Mm. Uh, according to our president, it's going to be implemented starting January. Many of us already heard the story. But point reports that um, our president insisted that the student loan scheme was a more sustainable model for funding tertiary education and increasing citizens' access to higher education. However, how they plan to disburse these funds, or how it plans to be uh, implemented is yet to be revealed, or it's quite sketchy for now. But by January 2024, the new students' loan program must commence to, to our, to, for, for our children uh, and to, to help address the long-standing issues in the educational sector, according to our president. Human capital, according to him, is the most critical so resource for national development, according Therefore, the budget prioritizes human development with particular attention to children and the, founda and the foundation of our nation. So we'll see how that goes. We hope it's done with transparency and accountability so that everybody sees that there's fairness in the uh, process of how these student loans are disbursed and doesn't disenfranchise certain groups and sectors. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch and his story. Yes, so I have a story on federal government losing money. It's a really sad story about how change of policy, that's the um, NPA is recording the loss of funds due to the withdrawal of the management of pilotage by Integrated Logistics Services Nigeria Limited, popularly called Intel. They said that the NPA totally has lost about <coughs> 161 million dollars not naira 161 million dollars they said there was a sharp drop numbers don't lie in 2014 2015 npa was gaining revenue through um intel and other things 216 million dollars 209 million dollars and when they cancelled the contract by 2020 the, the funding dropped the revenue dropped to 130 million and in 2021, $199 million. Like, the, the, the drop was 
huge. And the, uh, I know there were controversies around Intel because the former president and presidential aspirant, former, pre former vice president and presidential Thank aspirant, um, has shares there. But he said he had sold his shares within Intel. Also, the NPA does not have the facilities to carry out, they don't have the technology to monitor the operations. So they lose a lot of revenue. But if they were able to reinstate Intel, there'll be more revenue coming in. The NPA explained that the agreement was done with the interest of the nation and also explained that in, they, they were giving an update of what NPA is trying to raise revenue, how we can get more money into the country. And they said the agreement would have, um, Nigeria would have saved 326 million from the agreement it reached on Intel. The contention that happened would have been able to save 326 million dollars. So there's a lot of money lying on the table based on this um, cancelling the contract, if we reinstate it, we'll, save, we'll make more money. And the NPA that is left to handle the business that Intel was doing do not have the mm. technology or the capacity to do the same job. Money, with money lost that we can make yeah. back if we review okay. that. Moving on quickly now to Daily Sun, Supreme Court Justices. NJC okays Adewale, Ngosu, Ihime, Nsemani and others. Tinubu has approved blueprints to liberate and capture the Southeast, says Kanduje. Narrow scarcity worsens. Forbes names Okonjo Iwela, mm. Ngazi, most powerful woman in Africa. Whoop, 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 yeah, whoop. that's amazing. I created to lose health. Court mandates assembly speaker of, uh, to appoint medical panel. Kaduna village bombing death toll hits 127. So sad. Um, oh, and if this is Kuje Custodial Center, meet Emifile, Emifile, secures <laughs> release of five inmates. I wonder if he him when he was... Out. Nigeria <laughs> thirsty to win the Afcon 2023. Okay, Afcon. Okay, which story? What's a place to be okay, doing? Let me start with the um, Akure mm, mm. story. So the Ondo State High Court sitting in Akure yesterday granted leave to the applicants in a suit seeking another a compelling order that is another of mandamus to compel the House of Assembly and the Speaker to constitute a medical panel to assess the governor's health. And um, the suit was brought by Olufemi Lawson, Isijola. Kike Ologun Ayodeji and Arobo Olani. They are calling for this medical panel to provide clarity on the governor's health, having been away from the governor government in for, for over six months. Or nearly six months. I think I think it's a justifiable I, request. I totally to agree. That's... I agree. I think they shouldn't even have to go and get a mandamus order to to do the needful. Mm. I think the house should be Fully independent there of was a tweet by Akere Dolu when Yadua was, was not. Sick. I mean, former, gov, former president um, Buhari yeah, was sick. No, and out when former was president Yadua was, was sick. Was Yara, and Jonathan yeah, yeah. was his vice president. And he put it there that they should raise, they should state, put, let Jonathan take power and. Which is what I, this, which is what I remember. That is a. Uh, Kama. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a small world. Naira scarcity, people are feeling the pinch. Um, strong indications have come out that. The, there is a cash crunch in Nigeria, apparently. People are lamenting that they cannot access um, getting funds from the banking hall, which is very similar to what happened earlier in the year. Even though the CBN has come out to say that they are not going to stop the use of the old Naira notes, somehow they said because, and they had to do that press release over and over again, because some people were stockpiling the new Naira notes with the expectation that they will be able to sell them the way they did earlier this year. The APS Bank has shifted the dates. They have said indefinitely you can be using all the notes, yet we still have cash crunch going on. Um, some are now blaming it on the new policy implementation that will still happen in March. The fact that there will be a compulsory, um, there will be, there'll be compulsory, no, no bank NIN will be allowed to, to, no account will be allowed to function without NIN and BVN. Mm. You know? So I, I don't know. This is, we're going into Christmas season. We can't afford to go through what happened in um, February, March. So this, this is year. this is season, Money. just as you said. Mm. So market, um, you know, uh, marketers are selling their market, are holding their cash rather than depositing it. Oh. They need their money. So you don't want to go and be begging bank like last year. Give me money, mm. and you know because the news had come, people just mm. decided let me not take my money. Let banks sort themselves. Why? Right. I think um, you see the the central bank has to go and find out 
who sells mm -hmm. new money mm. those people at these parties those, uh, they have them in abundance and they sell mm -hmm. uh, 50,000 they will sell it for 70,000 imagine mm -hmm. that's ridiculous and it's, it has to be coming from central of course. Coast. and I'm, I'm not even feeling it but people are actually feeling it some of the customers that son took witness for in Lagos state here mm. went to the bank to collect 100,000 naira cash and they were and giving 40,000 40, naira yeah. they even paid me 20, 20 naira yeah. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Okay, some good news, please. We need some good news. The yes, yes. Director General of the World Trade mm -hmm. Organization, mm -hmm. Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwil, has been named the most powerful woman in Africa. We're celebrating. Oh, ja, 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 ja. Yeah. According to Forbes' 20th annual ranking release on Tuesday, the former Nigerian coordinating minister of the economy was ranked the number the 87th most powerful women in the world list. Forbes list of the world's most powerful women is about women who have performed excellently in the various fields. Okonja Wella in March 21 became the first woman to ever head the uh, World Trade um, Organization. All the other African women who made the list, there are quite a number of them, but she she definitely is the most powerful woman. Nice woman. Yeah. Very very mm. yeah. I haven't had the most pleasure of meeting her. But... seventh in the world. Is the World Trade Organization center she's heading. Uh, no, but there are other women now. Africa. No, uh, there are other women. Anyways. But I, I'm just so happy that she's number one yeah, in Africa. That, that's, that's fantastic. And you know the track record of service to Nigeria. Number, service. Number one in Africa. I've been number seven. Uh, oh. It's where Africa is in the world. Oh, oh. people have started. Let me, <laughs> let me read it before you start getting controversial. According to Forbes, 20th annual ranking released. Mm -hmm. The former, she is ranked 87th most powerful women in the world list. So there are yes. lots of women in the world, billions uh -huh. of women. She's there 87. That's where we are talking. That's what we are talking. Please go on. should be like the top 20. Just of yeah. women. Yeah. How, many, how many women do you know? It's not just your small case area that you know. Point made already. All right. No MD, mama. Can we just, what's it? Okay, let's move uh, Vanguard. <laughs> Bombing error won't deter fight against terrorism. NJC, okay, is 11 in justice. We talked talk, yes. talk that story. Controversy over ownership of Lagos, shameful, says Bode George. Beg. Government should discourage pegging Naira to a currency. Pastor Chris Oyakilome, sharing God's love through ministry. Uh, let's see. Stop tax waivers, concessions already granted to corporate entities. Senate tells federal government. Any story in Vanguard? Ah, it's the Naira one that I have. <laughs> so um, this experts in the financial sectors uh, sector has advised the go federal government to stop pegging Naira to any currency. This also... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the financial have been saying this for years, and you? Oh, that, you know, mm. the mi mixed, uh, they, they suggested mixed foreign exchange market regime across sub-regional markets um, uh, um, as a factor mitigating the successful implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement in the country. Speaking at the sixth session of the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, mandatory continuing professional development program in Lagos. The professor Jane Andy says, part of the three ways to also agree to manage our exchange rate is our, for every exporter should agree to accept payment in different currencies. We do not need to peg our Naira to any foreign currency that um, it should be discouraged no, and it can be done in Nigeria mm. by using, if you're buying something in Niger. Germany, buy in the Dutch. Mm -hmm. If you're buying in Ghana, buy in the CD. Mm. If you're buying in, Ni in Nigeria, buy in Naira. Those, it's it's, it's a let, battle that would be. Yes, we, let's we, them we, that's the solution. Source mm. those local currencies yeah. mm -hmm. and strengthen them rather than focus on one. Special currency mm. that we are also. We say this for years. Yes, and, and, and very soon we, we need to go there. But you know, the, the, U, the US can hold us to ransom because they are doing transactions with us that we cannot deny them. I want to take the story of the ONI because, yes, the yeah. ONI visited. Um, Kujie mm -hmm. prison. Um, and they said he met with the former CBN governor twice. They said he first met with him around 12, and then four hours later, met with him again. He's one of the prominent leaders that have gone to, that have met with him, and um, in the course of meeting with him, advocated for his release. Um, but the good news is five people got released through only paying for their fines. There are many people in prisons in Nigeria who, some as little as 20,000, 100,000, having somebody to just pay those fines would have gotten them released. So these five people were able to get their fines paid by the ONI of Ife and they were released immediately. He also promised to give more relief materials, um, mm. provide funds to aid skill acquisition for them and he reminded the people incarcerated that this is not the end of the world for them. 
they should take this as an opportunity to turn a new leaf. But okay. it's only... Is it not if it's, it's Edin? Uh, it's, a it's, 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 it's a young, vibrant... It's a young, vibrant... They want our traditional leaders to so be... I'm only, I, did, I, I just asked a question. Don't, you don't they, have to defend me. Flight. Just tell me how you... Their yeah. flights, it's their flights, their you. cars... They don't use a dual whistle. He flew, he flew you to <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> Tribune. <laughs> oh, new respect. Let's find a story in the Nigerian <laughs> Tribune. Yeah, uh, okay. Procter and Gamble to dissolve ground operations in Nigeria revert to import only business model. Hmm. Kaduna drone strike. Protesters storm National Assembly. PDP wants independent probe. FG to leverage Islamic finance to fund green projects. Stop tax waivers. Offer rebate. Senate committee asks federal government. Police arrest suspected ritualists over the death of a 100-level OAU student. And no money voted to renovate my residences by Jabi Amila. Ah, yeah, so where did that come from? That, um, they are spreading fake news uh -huh. that they, uh, they, they, they are marked money in the uh, budget to renovate his residence. That he's staying in his own private um, house. Uh, he's lying. That they didn't... So he's not in the budget. Said money was... Put for the uh, Jordan Barracks for the president's villa in Jordan Barracks and the uh, vice barracks. president in Lagos, not his own house. You said Jordan Barracks? Yes. Jordan Barracks used to be the seat of power. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm just saying, I haven't heard that word in Because when it comes time. to Lagos, it has to be in a. Okay, yeah. let me, that's all we can take. I was going to take uh, Procter and Gamble. You have a story? Islamic Bank in. Go ahead, please. Yeah, go ahead. Take the Procter and Gamble. So the Minister that's for Finance. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Take the Procter and Gamble. Go ahead, Nima. Okay, so the Minister <laughs> for floor. Finance and Coordinating Minister for the Economy, Wali Edu, said that they'll be looking at, you know, Islamic financing to finance the green projects that they have al around the, um, Nigeria. He said that they're looking to the production of um, electric vehicles and uh, pass, as part of their green project, and they're looking to Islamic financing, that is patronizing non-debt financing. You know, of course, there are no interest payments on, you know, Islamic finance. And he says that th these are the best options open to the government and the administration is supposed to leverage on Islamic financing for execution of infrastructure projects like he's currently doing with the Sukuk. Sukuk was used by the former mm. minister for works to, to finance some roads across the country and some in Lagos as well. So Procter & Gamble, an international company, they mm. plan to resolve their um, <laughs> on-ground operations in Nigeria Factories and turn the country into an import market. According to mm -hmm. their head, it says Nigeria, um, they explain that it's, it's getting increasingly difficult to do business in Nigeria as a dollar-denominated organization. And the macroeconomic reality in Nigeria is responsible for this their strategic decision. According to their head, it says the, other, the reality that arises in some of these markets is that it gets increasingly difficult to operate and create US dollar value. Mm. So when you think about places like Nigeria and Argentina, it's difficult for us to cooperate because of the macroeconomic environment. So they're having struggle. They're struggling with the dollar um, issue we are having here. Yeah, Elena, is time time for Nigerian companies. Look within. Yes. Abi, let's look within. Within. We have That's Nigerian alternatives. Because they want us to be. They want to be importing it now. Import, yes. It's more expensive that way. That's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we want to our next sponsored segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. <clears throat> Thanks for staying with us. So on this segment, we have the MD CEO Livelihood Homes Limited, Dr. Kelly Ungogo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So for the sake of our viewers, tell us about Livelihood Homes. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody watching. Today is a good day, <laughs> a very good day. Today is the seventh day of mm -hmm. December yes, 2023. Livelihood Homes Limited started in 2010 with a startup capital of 30,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. And um, God helped us. We grew this company from 30,000 Naira net worth mm -hmm. to 16 billion Naira in eight years. Wow. And today we are doing very, very well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's good news. Mm -hmm. Tell us about... <laughs> so I, I would like to ask, you know, um, 
obviously being into real estate, it means that there's, this is about land acquisition. I would like to ask you about what, what, how do you help people to acquire land and properties in your business? Thank you very much, ma'am. Number one, there's one thing that drives us. What drives us is the population. Mm. You see, as at this year, 2023, about 28 million people need home. 28 million people. Mm. Um, on the ninth day of October 2023, this same year, the United Nations says this, and I quote, that if we do not provide, make availability of 21 trillion naira, it will be difficult for us to be able to solve the problem of housing in this year. Mm. So this simply means that every one of us that are in this business of real estate should be able to help these 223.8 million Nigerians to see how we can provide homes. Mm. You know we are in December. Mm. Mm. There are going to be a lot of weddings. People yeah. get married. By this time next year, the population will go up. <laughs> Some people have four children, two children, one, and the population will be added. So we need to help people. So I'm going to run down, I'll run through the properties we have for sale, and everyone will be able to get it. So if you have a pen, please write. <laughs> Songo Tedo in Lagos State. <laughs> Songo Tedo in Lagos State. Songo Tedo is selling right now for five million naira. Is it land or house? It is land. Okay. Land. Awesome land. People are like, how can Songo Tedo be selling for that cheap? Yes. Mm. We want to make it easy for even the rich to get such a place. Mm. Now, if Songo Tedo is selling at five million naira, some people cannot afford five million naira, but could be able to buy Where other locations. Lagos is a local okay. government. Okay. It's a local government. You see, Aja. after Aja, yes. Then you can also buy from other locations, like after Dangote Refinery, we call that place VIP Estate. In this VIP Estate, we sell it for as low as 1.8 million naira per plot. Extremely cheap. <laughs> okay, now let's look at Odeomi. Odeomi, some yeah. estates call the place Ojoala. Mm -hmm. Ojoala simply means the future. So if you want to buy land in the future, buy from Odeomi. And I know that no estate within that area can sell for as low as 380,000. And we are selling at 380,000 per plot, mm -hmm. full plot of land. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Wait, wait, how do we know this is... I go and buy my land. One day I go and look at it. It's not available. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You see, when people buy lands, the next thing you do is take possession. Mm. Documentation is good. You have documents. Yes. Some people just get documents and they just go and sleep. Ten years, you will not see them again. Mm. There's a particular man I called some time ago after three years. He said, now why are you disturbing me? She be, I'm the one that bought land. I'm the one that should be worried, not you. And I'm like, ah, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. I'm sorry, sir. You can imagine that. So we have other locations we sell very cheap. Let's look at Imota in Ikoroju. 380,000 naira per plot in Imota, mm -hmm. in Ikoroju, in Lagos State. 380. We make our prices very cheap, affordable, that anyone can buy. And we also allow people to pay in installment. Do you have 50,000 naira? You wow. can acquire this land and pay in installment for six months or one year just to help to reduce this challenge or deficit in the housing sector. Okay. So uh, hmm. do you have any other arrangement, like a butter arrangement to help people acquire land? Or oh, yes, yes. We do, we do a lot of trade by butter. So people are like, oh, I have two cars in my compound. Uh, can I give you one car? We just value the vehicle and tell you which land we can give to you wow. for the car. If your car values 1.5 million, for example, you can buy land in Odomi in Lagos State. You can buy from Port Harcourt, the villa, popularly known as uh, the villa. That popular, popular estate in Port Harcourt is called the villa, the villa, the villa. It's just two million dollars per plot. And that's an estate where people that bought some years ago, they already live. They bought it at 500,000 in 2019, 2018. Mm. And they are living there. So we still have about 100 and something plots available that we can sell to new people that want to buy. We have other locations in Port Harcourt. If you want to buy from this location, like uh, uh, the area we call, um, we have um, areas we call Odogwa Eche. These places are developing areas in Port Harcourt. You can buy them for as low as 199,000 dollars. Excuse me, please, please, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are you managing to sell all these lands cheap? We want people to have homes. 
It's not a Alubarika Loju. If we buy this land at 100,000. Even man is saying Alubarika Loju. This one is a Nigerian. We buy a land at 100,000 and we sell at 199. I think it's fine. Not until we buy at 100 and want to sell at 2 million. No, 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 no. Okay, so you buy it and then you just put a little profit. A little profit. Yeah, just to make it easy. That you are so wealthy. It's the South East Model. It's gold. It's gold. Let's talk about investments. Investments. Okay, so my own question was about this industry. Yeah. So, because I, I play in the real estate industry, and I know that there are challenges, and mm. you've been in this industry, you said eight years. Mm. Uh, 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. Amazing. Mm. So can you tell us about how you've been able to overcome the real estate challenges that you've gone through? You see, we have been through a lot. People that know me know that we have been through a lot. Some people do not believe that we can still be in the business even after 13 years. Mm. Some people invest in our company. They give us money. Mm. We, for example, you give us 10 million naira to, to invest in our company. We give 20% of such money as return upon investment for one year. Sometimes some people say, okay, give us the money two times. In six months, give us 1 million. After six months, give another 1 million. So people do 20 million, 40 million, 50 million, 100 million naira. But any such person that wants to invest their funds, they can come for that purpose. For challenges, there is no one that is immune of challenges. Mm. There is no company immune of challenges. There is no marriage. <laughs> immune of challenges. There's no student immune of challenges. A student killed himself just because he failed an exam. Mm. So I want to discourage people from thinking of suicide. You want to kill yourself because of what? There's nothing you can face today that somebody has not faced before. Uh, are you in a situation that is so bad? You are in the prison. You think you will die there? No, you will come out. You will come out. <laughs> nothing will happen to you. You will be fine. You will be fine again. Uh, you had one problem and you're hey, that's so so. Are you the only one having problem? Everybody has problem. <laughs> <laughs> so just focus on God. Mm -hmm. Trust God to help you come out of the problem and bounce back. Life goes on. All right. So in real estate, there are problems. But well, let's forget about problems and talk about prosperity. Let's move forward. <laughs> we are in a prosperous year now. We are going into a prosperous new year. I want you to believe that. And Nigeria is making progress. Let us see how we can help you. You can buy from uh, other locations in Abuja. We have in uh, Lube. Lube is selling for as low as 5 million naira. We have in Kuje. We just sell as low as three hundred and ninety-nine thousand naira. We have land in Ibadan, uh -uh. Ido in Ibadan. We are selling at one hundred and seventy thousand naira. One hundred. To get this. So call me. Just call me directly. I'll pick your number by myself. Call me on zero eight one. And let me take your number. Hold All right, on, three on, nine five four zero four two four zero eight one three nine five four zero four. Two four. I'll take my number okay, again. Your so money don't finish. Zero, 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 zero eight one three, three nine, nine five, five four zero four two four. All right. That's my number. Thank so you if very you much. call me, we'll see how we can do the business. We can hey, show you. Has your money has finished. Your money has finished. No problem. Thank you very much. My money cannot finish. I sell hey, property. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're on a different level. Thank but you. honestly, we wish you the best. You seem like you. a very good marketer. Uh, you. Wishing you the best. Once again, your view, ladies, or TVC, we are not, uh, no, <laughs> but, uh, not part that. of the livelihood, but we, so we, we appreciate you coming on the show today Thank you. to yeah. share your own um, your offer to Nigerians. Thank you so much on the Thank show. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go on a break when we return. We'll continue with the show. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So today's Thursday and we love to discuss family lifestyle issues. And there was a video that caught our attention uh, a couple of days ago. So a video that went viral, a woman was seen joyfully dancing, doing the leg walk dance steps, you know, while her husband was there carrying the baby. Of course, on social media, every little <laughs> thing draws attention. So it sparked quite a bit of debate online with, with some people considering the dance step a red flag. Eh? While others feel it's harmless, as the husband seems unconcerned. Others think, hey, if you have a wife that is doing this kind of things, hey, this one is there. Yeah. Uh, this one, no. This one, no. <laughs> yeah, I trust in the video. So the man is there carrying the baby, looking like a gentleman. 
and the wife is there dancing. I'm still thinking, hey, is this a red flag? Should we be considering this as a red flag? Why is <laughs> that, that is a problem meeting. for Nigerians? Why are Nigerians saying, ah, we don't enter around? <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 081-076-41679-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Why are we judging this woman's dance like this? Having a baby's name is Serena. You can see them in the Anko. Yeah. Her colors, mm -hmm. the baby in the shawl, the husband holding the baby. She's happy. Mm. Yeah, yes. You don't know what battle she finished fighting. Yes. You don't know why she had so much energy to, you know, to express her happiness. But Nigerians, of course, we don't have work. According to talk about what he gets, well, <laughs> it's this type of thing that will go and be trending when mm. there are more important issues that we should be talking about. Mm. But I don't see anything wrong in her as a human being. They have different ways people express their happiness. I love to dance privately. She was in her own house dancing. And, somebody, and the video went viral because somebody posted it. I don't get it. Mm. She, she must be happy on her own terms. I don't know why we always like to standardize how people will be happy, mm. and how people will dance, and how people would. This does not determine a good heart. Mm. It does not determine a bad heart, a giving heart. Some people have gold in their backyard, but they will never, never see it. Someone sent me a message once and said, ah, you like to follow single friends yeah. or married friends. As a married woman, you should select well yeah. to affect you. And I'm wondering, does it determine who I am or does their singlehood determine that they are bad people that are my friends? I don't understand. Eh? Mm. So talking about red flags, um, in this video, a lot of people are saying, do you think this is a red flag to her character, to the kind of person, kind of mm -hmm. mother she would be? Uh, let, 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 let's add to that because we, you, Nima said something very important about we like to standardize things. So even we standardize money, we standardize how mm. you should look when you are money, how you should look when you are happy. What, how you know we have this picture of what you should look like when you are happy. So let me come to you talk <sighs> about your, your thoughts on this. Is this a red flag? Okay, guy, uh, so just be, ah, I don't enter around. Um, is, well, hmm, it's a flag. Whether it is red or it green. is <laughs> green or it is yellow, it's a flag. It is um, an indication of, it's an indication of who you are, how we celebrate or how we choose not to celebrate, how we display our joyful moment, tells us about who we are. So there's no problem. It just, it reflects the kind of, she, life, <laughs> giving birth is life and death. Like literally, any woman who has gone through delivery understands that she has gone through life and death. And we are going to judge based on who we are. So I look at that, that's and I feel like, Yo, so so classless, so tacky, so this. That's from my old world view. But from for someone else, men are on a stepper. Mm. That's their own. This girl is a stepper. Um, it's like when you see traditional somebody from um, a quiet bomb want to thank God. The level what what they call traditional dance is twerking of the highest <laughs> level. Though. But that is their traditional dance, traditional dance. But to somebody else's worldview, eh? You are dancing to God like this. You are twerking. Why are you shaking everything? So the, it's a flag. It is worldview. It is everybody that will interpret and give it the color based on where they are coming from. Based on where I'm coming from, I see that dancing and I see the way local people dance. It doesn't mean she's a bad person, but for her, she's celebrating. She removed her shoe. At first, the man was dancing, but oh, what is this I came outside? <laughs> what is this I came outside? Um, it's like, so, what, it's like the, the, the girl at the wedding that uh, they brought a gospel artist to surprise her, and she knelt down for the gospel artist. Well, you can't slap me and tell me mm. this is how I should cry. If I scatter mouth, na me they cry. If I'm dancing and I scatter my leg to dance, now me yeah. they dance. Ah. If it is paining you, it's not your leg. So I, I, I share the man's opinion, but... We, we, don't, we don't know their life, we don't know their story, mm -hmm. we don't know who they are, we don't know where they're coming from, but we will all judge based on so where they're coming from. So why are we such from. a judgmental bunch? Ew. We like to really tell people <laughs> because we, 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 feel, we feel that this is how you should be when you're happy. Mm. This is how you should be when you're mourning. There was somebody that was telling me that they went to go and see um, a father who was mourning, um, I think the death of, I'm not sure, I thought the child or the wife or something, and they saw the man, he was someone in high spirits. And they're wondering, ah, did you not just lose your wife? You know, it was mm. just, it wasn't like he was laughing, but he was just talking really loud and trying to just, you know, and the person was shocked that this man is, for somebody who just lost somebody. But now to the person, you don't know how people mourn. 
Yeah, maybe he's just trying to get his feeling suppress his yeah, his that's grief. Not functional, you know. So exactly, it could be so. There are different ways, but we judge the way out. So they they now start this gossip. Ah, look at the man. Maybe he even killed his he killed his wife. He must have been the one to kill them because the way he's talking. Did you still see him mm -hmm. laughing around? Ah, this man definitely killed his wife. So we judge based on what we see. And we are, people are judging this young lady for dancing. Mikey, what are your thoughts when you saw this video? I'm just, you took the words from my mouth. Why are we such a judgmental <laughs> bunch of people? Why are we always in other people's houses? <laughs> we are always cleaning the cockroach in other people's eye and the mm. big uh, lobster inside our own. We haven't mm. removed it. So I, I, to me, I mean, um, I remember going to my secretary her wedding, she's from Akwa Ibom. When you talk about Akwa Ibom, <laughs> I, I remember, if you see her, you know, she looks so, when she kijomole, <laughs> that's my secretary, Mary. Yes. When she kijomole, this is how I was just looking. Okay. <laughs> Mary, you can dance like this. When you see her normally, you will never know she can dance. So yeah. the opportunity came for her to, and you will not see her and think she's a loose woman. Mm -mm. You know, so maybe she loves dancing. I think we should try to remove ourselves from other people's houses. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Right, this are, our house, because inside our house is burning. Ah. <laughs> we are looking at another person's house. There are important that is just. Eh? There are other important red flags that we should be focusing on. Mm. Mm. Do red flags of someone who cannot hold the conversation. Mm. Red flags of someone who, when when his wife is happy, he, he becomes insecure. Someone who is always, you know, that one is not bothering us. Mm. This man knew that the wife had something to express. And Let's consider aside. other red flags, Nima. He said, in reality, um, red flags, many men still believe high-flying ladies, socially inclined ladies are red flags. They see you're always going out, your party, you know, you are looking good, mm. is a red flag. Uh, ladies who uh, they have a penchant for parties, extremely good at dancing, singing along to secular songs, are highly considered to be a no-go area for marriage. Uh, so many instances, <laughs> ladies who earn a decent living from the affirmation are considered as no-go area for marriage. So should this be, should that, that's really the conversation. Yeah, that, is marriage a graveyard? Can, can is, marriage, is marriage a graveyard? Is mm. it a place for, for sadness? Mm. Because, you know, there are several ways to express happiness. This woman, look at her, it was in her parlor. There's a fridge beside the chair on one side. Probably telling someone, ah, well, I will show you I can dance. Let me, let me carry my baby first. <laughs> We're not putting that in context. But Nima, what of the uh, context of how our parents say, you're a woman, take yourself. it, comport yourself. Mm. You're a lady. That's she was in her house. She yeah, in public. So let's, 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 I'm talking about red flags, seeing from mm. out, looking outside in. How, like, so let's just say this lady was not outside. In this case, mm. yes, she's in her house. Mm. When you see a lady dancing at the club or just at a party, regular public party. She's there shaking her everything. Mm. She's screaming. Does a man look at her? This is a red flag. Ah, I can't approach this one. This and one definitely. good heart if he was looking at those irrelevant things. If he, he, the focus of a man is how good a, are you It's relevant serious? to who you are. See, each person, each, if a man is on a trajectory to become, a bank MD cannot have his wife dance like that. Hmm. It's not accepted. It's relevant to who you are and your trajectory in life. You marry the one that suits your life. I agree you marry the you. one that fits your journey. And if the person you marry did not fit your journey, you will adjust each other to, each, to the journey each that suits journey. you. Exactly. Talk, there's also the part that a bank MD's wife hmm. needs to exercise. Maybe she has cardio issues. We went to the event at the First Lady's um, Ramadan um, Muslim Sisters event. And the doctor there was supposed to give us advice. I'm trying to remember her name. Very good, beautiful woman like this. She got up and asked all the ladies to get up and dance. I forgot <laughs> I know how to dance. But the moment, the, after that, the, every evening, I tried to do some dancing. <laughs> it's to help you to relax. A bank MD's wife can take her dancing to any level in their house. Okay. But outside, there's a way you comport yourself. So that's what, so that's what I'm saying. Comportment. Let's, let me Is take this call. the red flag or the comporting yourself? Let's put it we'll in call, Okay, let me, let, me, let me take Otumba's call from the UK, then I'll come back to this. Good morning. Thank you call. Thanks for calling, Otumba. Good morning, Mario. Good morning. How are you? I'm your first time calling. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I just want to congratulate you on the new appointment. Thank you, sir. And most of what you guys are discussing about dancing or not dancing, it has got to do with individual. Uh -huh. In my, in my, in, in someone's house can be crazy. Outside you behave normally. That's what I can tell you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I remember there was a time. I just remember just a, an incident where 
uh, we're in a house party many, many years ago, before I got married many years ago. And I remember, I think it was my sister then, was laughing, like the, somebody was cracking jokes. And she was, ga, 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 ga. she was really, really. And somebody just tapped her, you're a girl. So they told you, comport yourself. You can't be seen as if you don't have any kind of home training. Mm -hmm. It's part of how we are raised to, as ladies, as women, when you're outside the comport, we're in a new, we're in a new dispensation now where women are young girls are asked to be expressive. But then Even we grew up. Expression, you but must be. So there's that kind of compulsion. Yes, you want to dance. Maybe when you enter your house, you can well, dance. There's no camera. But the moment that you're outside, they tell you, comport yourself. Because so, it might be a red flag mm, to certain no, people. What it, for, that's, when, you, when you say, the red, that's why I, I just use flag without any. Because okay. when we say comportment, refinement, people are, when I see you and I see the way you carry yourself, mm. I, I, I expect something from you. I put you in a box, I place you on a pedestal. And so people, I'll take you from the pedestal and put you on the floor based on how you behave. Comporting yourself is that you go somewhere, you don't just say, oh, I just feel like eating. You eat bag, 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 bag. You put everything into you. are using your two hands. This one, you're licking here, licking there. Because I am being free, I can eat any how I want to eat. Mm -mm. There is... There's a, there's a right way to do things. You it's carry like yourself house. well. You know, inside your house, you can use yeah. anything, eat any But when you're outside, there's a way you would carry yourself. There's a way you would eat. Is refinement is, com is, is how you comport yourself. It is maturity. So there are things you would do when you're young. You will scatter body when you're dancing. But as you get older, they will tell you there are tables you cannot get to eat based on how you eat. There are places, there are dance floors you will not get to dance based on how you dance. Let us face the reality of how life is. We are mm. judging people. But we must be aware and then learn that we're not going to judge. What, 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 we're going to, um, my, my spirit is judging you, but I would, come, I would give you the grace of understanding where your background is and give you the grace that you have not been taught and give you the grace that if I okay, teach let you, me, would be there's better. There's a scenario that, can, that comes here. BC on the call. Come on in, BC, you're live. Hello, BC, you're live. Okay, let me give an example. Okay, okay you want to jump in? Yeah. Right. I just wanted to, because you said we're judging people, but I should, don't you think that should be the topic right now? How do we stop ourselves from judging Others. other people? I mean, I, I am, there was one guy that was chasing me when I was young, and he took me to this posh restaurant. I mean, I was eating with my hands. He never asked me out for his bad eats. <laughs> and now that I'm older, I know why he never asked me for another date. I mean, it was no skin off my neck, but yeah. the guy was in the corporate world and probably, look, this one can never be my wife. Fellas got herself. Fellas got herself. Fellas got herself. It's part of the whole thing. Yes, now. Yes, now. Why can't share that experience? Yes, now. Someone just saying, because she's fellas, she can't be a good wife. Yeah. And all of those kind of judgments. Judge you already. You somebody. But she's a kind person. We know her. Yes. So my question is, what I'm saying is, why can we stop ourselves from being so judgmental? Okay, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll, we'll try to thrash that topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're discussing red flags. Red flags in when we see people. Um, there was a video that we referenced, a woman dancing in her house, and we've agreed on this table that it's in the privacy of a home where she was dancing, so we can understand that. But then we're taking that to a situation whereby a woman is seen dancing indiscriminately in the dance floor at a party or using her phone continuously. We've had young girls who just they are constantly using that phone and, think, and guys are thinking, hmm, can I date this kind of person? Or even you see a girl... Um, like I was talking earlier, that somebody who's just dancing on the floor. I, as a lady, might be looking for a friend who can bring some life into me. Mm -hmm. and you know and what? You that connect. dancer is the kind of person I want as a friend. Yes, and the guy can say, that dancer, I don't want you because you're going to be too much. So mm -hmm. it depends on who is looking for what. So it could be a red flag to a guy, but it's a white flag. Not a white flag. It's a green flag to me as a friend because mm -hmm. I want a girlfriend who, who, dance, who can teach me how to dance. So it depends on who... who can teach you to let loose. Yes. So it depends on who is, mm -hmm. who's, who's judging. So I, I think a green flag, we should hail... When we comment, we should hail that man. See the man. The man stood, held his baby, baby. and watched his wife 
and it did not look like he was repulsed or anything. Like he just he watched his wife, That's and we should hail that man. But we're not talking about the man. But if the man had been, if the man had joined the media and walked away, he would have become the center of the story. We don't talk about the good men out there. And that was a good man. The man carried the baby, allowed his wife to How dance and celebrate herself, have her fun. Yes, yeah, so some men would have walked out. Yes, yeah, the men would have carried the baby and walked away. The man stood there all through the dancing. And that, for me, is something that should be acknowledged and not just swept away like it's a yeah. normal thing. It's not normal. Um, I like dancing. Like if anybody what is not normal me, about it? We, no, on social media space, it's not. We don't see things like that. We don't celebrate it. We don't acknowledge it. We, as we yab the bad, or as we yab or insult or put our mouth into other people's business, let's acknowledge good things when we see it. It's a good thing that the man decided to... The man was there all through, looking no, at the No, because it's like you're saying her dancing is not normal. To no, me... No, no, no. That's uh, the, uh, 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 the man. Husband, some men will look at you that you're dancing too much. They will walk away from he you. He must know his wife now. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I like gonna, dancing. The fact is that she... Um, he let her have a day. Yeah. Well, I have had a naming ceremony that I was very, I was not in the good place, and I wish I could do it again so that I can, I can really show how, how appreciative I was. Yeah. But immense naming, I didn't Let me have take enough time to, Maybell to express my from joy. from K2, I believe. Thanks for calling me, Bell. Mirabel, I do apologize. Mirabel, you... Hello, good morning. Mirabel, you're live. Go ahead, please. Yep. Hello, Mirabel, are you there? Okay, we lost that call. We're going to be wrapping up on this. Let's take a few uh, comments on social media. Uh, I, I really, let, me, let me just share this personal story of my own journey of dancing and how I love dancing and how I used to dance and scatter body everywhere. And my husband would hold me like, hmm. Don't do. Like, he would hold me like, calm down, calm your dancing. You are jumping too much. I get hyper. Um, there was a day I posted a video. In recent times of, my, of me dancing, somebody said I was, how many drinks has, did, did you take? I didn't even have a drop of a call. At my mother in law's barrier, Omo, I danced everywhere danceable. But did you see me post all those dancing videos on social mm. media? No. We need to understand the person that did the huge disservice to this person, to this young lady, is the person that posted that video on social media. The person that probably recorded it from inside our WhatsApp, whatever, and posted it online. It is not everything that should be online. You can do so all, all things are good to you to do as it pleases you or makes you happy. When you put it online, you have demanded judgment. You have asked for validation. And if the criticism comes, take it like that. Mm. Mm. I remember my, my brother's um, lost his first child. So when he had his second child, it was close to the evening. I was like, ah, everybody just did it calm. Because we're a very conservative family. So I, I crazy loud in the volume. Let's celebrate while within our house. And he's allowed Islamically. And I started to dance, and my sister later joined me. We're just celebrating for him that, you know, this was not a repetitive thing. Mm. So people can express their happiness anyhow they want. So society can judge you in their society outside standard, but do your own thing to make yourself happy because society will not come and carry your body. I remember when the famous you pastor that, died recently, and his children were dancing in church, and people were saying, mm. ah. Kind of the, mm. the, were they truly mourning? Mm. You know, were they the people were asking questions? So we Definitely judge again. we judge them based on how they were expressing, how they were thanking God, you know. And they have to come out and say, listen, we're dancing because we're just thankful for the life, the life of impact that our father lived. This is part of us again judging. So it goes back to the conversation that is that a red flag? To, ah, this children never loved their father, or is it a red flag of oh they are praising God? So what therefore? Are there still red flags? Or are we, are we now in a situation whereby it, it, there, there should be no flags. red flags? Maybe their flags. father has left them money and they are happy. Should they not be happy? You know, like, that's, that's, <laughs> what, that's why they that's are dancing. The one that, it's not no, our business you, you, you can choose. No. They, they could have chosen that dancing because they've cried enough inside the house and they don't owe you outside crying. No, cultures they are owe different. you outside celebrating God, thanking God. No, but let's talk about the like culture and normal local tradition. Mm. Cultures are different. At your uh, loved one's passing, you do barrier. Your gala will be on point. Your friends will dance with you. They will spray you money. Mm. Uh, should do that be from where I am from? It's, uh, it's awkward. But the evil is to celebrate. Uh, from where I am from, not even Auchi, mm. from where I am from, from my kind of background and family, I'll be looking at you straight in the back. Ah, mm. You are making you money, money off of your death. Mm. But that's a person's culture. It's been over the years the way they do that. In fact, if the Jebus want to do barrier, they do it more than naming. So mm. it is. 
people's way of things. Try to understand and leave people yes, be. Yes, give people grace. Yes. Even if Try it to is understand. different from your worldview. That's why I said it is a flag. But you will not... Call, don't, don't allow yourself... The immediate reaction, when I see somebody twerking, if I see like you turn your back to the camera and you are actively twerking, I judge. And then I remind myself, don't judge. It's not your place to judge. This is the person's fun. This is the person's expression. This is the person doing what they want to do. And in our cultural dance, like I will go back to culture, our cultural dances, women have been turning, their, have back been turning their back to camera since forever, and it is normal. So okay. we should not start, All right. uh, we should not bring this to I videos. I mean, I ah, don't no, film, but no, no. people film me. Mm. And when no, no, they no, send no, no, to no. me, I post it. Why can't Why can't you right. dancing? So we have to, we have if to, they choose to dancer. judge your dancing, ah. We have to take it, some messages. It's, it's, it's old age Let's and you don't expect comment. you that we don't judge your dancing. Let me have a call. I have a caller. Thanks for calling. You're live. Hello, good morning. Hello, you're watching TV. Hello. You're live. Go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Is my yeah, watching TV, first, please uh, listen to it directly. Go ahead. Yeah, hello? I have to disconnect the call because you're listening to the TV. Um, yeah, go ahead. Adibade uh, Kamaru says, when does it become a sin to dance within the confinement of one school? Nima can dance in her private life. He said I should keep it up. Then he says, <laughs> Tokwe too is a danceaholic. And the um, Guinness World Record dance at on YK. That's her middle name, can dance too. He thinks that we should let them be and dance. And I am there, so says, Fela sang a lot about the hypocrisy and judgmentalism of our mm. society, but one line from a controversial song in particular is very apt to today's topic. Call them for dance, she go dance, lady dance. African woman go dance, she go dance the fire dance. <laughs> that was right. perfect. <laughs> Let me go on a break. Now, we have to wrap up on this, but I think um, this is bringing us into an angle of culture. Mm. I think that the next, our, our next segment will, be, will fit perfectly into this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So our previous conversation was talking a bit about culture, how we uh, express ourselves, how, what, what we see as red flags. But there was another um, topic that got, into, got my attention, which is from Punch, was a Punch report about the Ogu Kingdom, a community in the Okrika local government area of River State, um, gathered lots of attention on social media over the picture of its annual Iria festival a ceremony that ushers in young virgins into womanhood. Now, the, report, the, the Punch report revealed that the area, a ceremony of womanhood, is an ancient festival of the Okrika people that dates back to the 16th century and has continued to trigger excitement for both from locals and outsiders. But what is more interesting about this festival is that the young girls have to bear their chests. Mm. Of course, they have tattoos on, the various... Um, um, cultural images on their bodies, but this practice of where they have to present yeah, their, their bare chest to, the to all these elders. babas, all these elders in the community, begs the question, should this be a sustained uh, practice? Is this something we should continue, especially in the 21st century? Um, as, you, as we can see, many people actually, it's, it's a festival that many of them I'm looking forward to. What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on the numbers on your screen again. Um, it goes back to the thin line between modernization and our ancient practices. How do we, how do we, do we need to merge it? Should we allow them to sit by themselves? Or what do we do to ensure that these girls still have a, 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 a life, a, a different kind of life from what they've had before? What are your own thoughts? Call us on 081 0764 1679. 0902416340. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. Mm -hmm. Let's be careful not to judge. 
right? <laughs> you want to judge your judgment? Yes, you we can. Know, we are only here to so, understand. Understand. Judge so, no. Nima, so, so is your judgment no, to no, judge? No, 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 no. Yeah. I, I don't agree with you about not judging culture. There are many cultures that we have judged as, as inhuman. In, in inhuman. 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 Inhumane. 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 Sorry. Yes. English yes. Say, that out. <laughs> yes. There are many cultures that we have judged inhumane and we have freed ourselves as women from those cultures. There is a culture of female genital mutilation. Mm. It is inhumane. The culture of me as a young woman coming into a young virgin, coming into human by bearing my chest to a committee of old men, for me is abuse. <laughs> And if we, you say we don't judge, we should understand it. Then that means we should not judge for gender mutilation. We should not judge it. We should not judge yeah, when the they say... Too. No, no, no. In, in that case, we should not judge the culture that says that as you are giving birth to in a part of this world, I would give you meta, meta. And it is seen as this is our culture. There are some cultures that will look at it and say, we're preserving, we will, we will take pictures for, to, to tell the stories. I just said, you know, we will not repeat it again. We will tell other people, this is what we used to do before we realize that, ah, some women will feel... They feel embarrassed that they have to do this. This is not what they like. This is you invading my privacy. This is me opening up my most vulnerable self to the eye of everybody in the public. If you say we cannot judge culture, I don't agree. Does she see herself agree. as being vulnerable? Can I just put this properly? Yeah. Don't judge the people's culture. The only thing I said, I have not talked about cultures that you should hate. Okay. Seek to understand a people's culture. Initiation of women into womanhood has been from the days, and these are cultures that people promote within their locality, the Okrika. People know why they do it. The part that you are saying they are now showcasing their genitals and their, person, uh, their privacy yes. to old men, I didn't see that part in the article that I read. They had a ceremony mm. that their mothers, 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 mothers have been doing. And they've upheld it and they're doing it. Whether they wear, the women are naked, the women are clothed, they do it in Zulu Kingdom, they do all of that in South Africa. And we go there as tourism. They are doing it in Okrika now. We'll sit in judgment and use what compass to judge it. I didn't see the parts that they were forcing the girls involuntarily mm -hmm. to showcase them. They were parading them in front of old men. That I didn't see. I read this story. They had a ceremony. In my own custom, we do an initiation ceremony into manhood for the boys. And those boys have their age group. They grow into that age group. At the death of my father, his age group was standing outside the hospital and they did the need for. They are going to escort him to the grave. It is cultural for some people and it is promoted according to African culture. There's nothing, there's not every of our culture we must annihilate based on anybody's standards. The support that those cultures are created, where you have age group, there was a video of a boy who had done uh, beating up his mom in the East and his age group people heard of it. They visited him. They are the police of the community. They gave him the right judgment. We saw the video of the serious beating. Konishere Rue Moelia, yeah. He beat COVID's beating that he was giving. Doesn't make it right, though. It, no, it makes it right because doesn't that's the right. police of the community. Because we now have police, we say that our own community of police is not good. Have you not used your PC in the West? Have you not called it at Moteku? Have you not touched it up? We are doing it. See, it's not everything will sit down. Right. And just remove. Okay, I don't so support female genital mutilation. It, yeah. I totally am against it. Right. It was practiced in my own place as well, but I am not yeah. mutilated. My parents But, the, 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 but when, you, when a young 16 year old or a 70 year old girl is asked to bear her chest to be, does it make her susceptible asked? to all? Yeah. There was she a girl who was like covered. A, no, 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 I'm seeing the picture majority. here. They, they, not, they, I'm just seeing the picture here. They just do their no, culture. I don't, I don't know. But there was one who was covered. Neither you or me are part of the But the point is, the, 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 the girls here who are bearing their chest, and it's part of the ritual within that community, that's not even the issue. The point is, does it make the girls susceptible to um, 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 rape and um, sexual molestation? And stuff? Does it make these men, that's after they collect collected certificates. That, I'm not, not, at that point, you're not collecting certificates. This so. one, your chest is open. This one collects her own certificates in the kid. The other one collects her own shit. Okay. So you can choose. This one's are wearing clothes. Yeah, some of them are wearing clothes. You know what? We, if we're not careful to inform properly, yes. people will just take it and say, ah, the culture of the Okrika people to do this initiation no. is totally okay. bad. See, these ladies are naked here. They only blurred the chest. Every, yes. Everything here is blurred. <laughs> No, Check no, only one woman. This one tied just to her upper. Yeah, yeah, that is the other woman. This one tied her part to her chest. Now the first so, one. Now. Okay, so why we why it's we actually choice. blind to the ones that are not that are that? Hey, it's their choice now. No, we don't know. Why so, you wear bikini okay. and they do most beautiful girl award? Nobody goes there and say why are the girls parading in bikinis? We'll talk about but it. when an African culture is doing their own initiation, whatever, in their own custom, we now sit in judgment. I don't get no, it. I talk about the bikini wearing as well. 
Any, and this cancel it from what must be to get the one. Doesn't mean that my saying. So both people that are doing that. Saying what I'm saying now is not going to make the okay. I will cancel their culture. My goal is not able to cancel their culture. My goal is to. Let us understand that the culture needs to be re-examined. That's what I said. I agree. Culture, culture needs to be re-examined. And in, in re-examining it is that we weigh, is this right? How, how does this make the women feel? Because imagine I have to open my chest and I am very, 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 very large. It is everywhere. And I see another person's own. Pink Pini, I see orange. I see watermelon. I see tangerine. I, I like you've seen everything. There's a, there's a way it will make you feel because you're comparing yourself. You're being judged. You see eyes looking to one and not looking to you. There's a whole lot. It is, being, mm. it is turning a woman into based on her shape or her body. And the fact that it's being done in other parts of Africa does not make it right. I don't support it. I don't like it. Personal opinion. It's That's a culture it. I don't want mm. because it's a culture that de dehumanizes a human being into a physical mm. assets alone. And we can talk about it so that there are other women. Imagine the Muslim um, person from Ukirika, who is an hijabite, who would want to be initiated into womanhood without having to go through this at all. So I'm saying that let us have a conversation that covers everybody. Mm. And yes, it is our culture. Let me take this I call. Don't like it. Good morning. Thanks for calling. You're live. Yes. Good, good morning. Good morning. Yes. I want to comment the our Muslims yes. Nima. He said the right, he said the right thing so much. Because it's my caution. You give your daughter, you, you are going to choose whether your daughter will do it or not. Somebody will not force you to do it. It's my caution. So if I decide that my daughter, I will talk to my daughter, my daughter, please, can you do this thing? It's my caution, you do the He said, yes. Yes, she can do it. If she said, no, I can't force her. That is the caution. Nobody will force you to do anything you want to do. But the culture stands that way. They so will call it area. We call it area in America. Mm. We area. Mm. Our tradition. Mm. I, I yes, am rivers. Yes, it's yes, yes, in our tradition. But if you have not done it before and you want to do it, you can do it. But that's why you put your clothes on. As a oh, young tree. you put your you chest to be open. It's not that they are doing it. It's not that they are doing it. If you are married, you've not done it before, you put your clothes on. As a young lady, you... It's like you can. Mm. It's like you can. So I know, my, my brother... If you, look, if you look through the pictures, mm -hmm. not all of them are naked. Oh, yeah. But there some, are some that are naked. So but the point is that how do we do... How do we... So we're, are, we're just we're evaluating our practices and say, listen, is this something we are okay to keep? Because we are the ones that always say... Let these girls be protected, especially when they are underage, when they are not yet 18. These are mm. young people. They should be allowed to protect themselves, their bodies, and have that privacy. I know my brother, well, my brother, my brother is married, um, one of my brothers is married to a South African. And during the wedding, you know, they had to bring in all these girls with topless mm -hmm. to dance around him. And he was like, oh my God, oh my God, you know. <laughs> it was part of, it's part of the practice from where they're from. So we are like Nigeria, like, ah, what is What's happening going on here? here? You know what? That is the practice. Yeah. So, it does, but, but those are not, um, those are not, um, they're not uh, virgins or little kids. These are, these are, these are adults that came out. Mm -hmm. But let, yeah, let me let you so jump in. We must re-examine culture. It is in re-examining culture we change the tradition of killing of twins, you know, gen female genital mutilation. I am a benefit of that. That, you know, my parents chose, no, let's just do Muslim. Don't do any of these things to my kids. And we must continue to um, evolve culture. But who are we? to tell a people that the culture you have is bad. It is the people who will reevaluate their culture. We have to tell if the people. Okrika people are being advocated to, for instance, maybe their decision makers, their kings, their ballets, or whatever they have, and you're telling them, and the ballet comes and say, we will continue our ceremony. It will remain a ceremony. Mm -hmm. I know of a culture where when a woman is pregnant in my place, they would when she's about five months, they would go and do female genital mutilation in those days. And when I was pregnant with my first child, it was introduced to me that they no longer do the ceremony of the cutting. What they do is just the ceremony, and they will buy you clothes and wrappers. I, can I, it's voluntary, yes, I, I, I will not take part in it. But I have never sat and told them, ah, God, you people are going to air fire. I'm not the judge. I've not said that to them. But I have, my parents chose to you chose drop, not and to. they choose me not to. I am fully covered. When I visit them, my cousins can be tying their judge and their hair open. I don't judge them. I just move past and let everybody do their own. And the culture has continued in the ceremony, marking that event. Nobody now carries blade to anybody's. So it's because, I, because I get a choice, does it make it right? 
because I can some choose don't not have to. A choice. Do. Some people some don't have a choice. Some you don't have your right. Some use it right or wrong. Whose standards are you? Some don't have a right father who will fight for them. Some don't have siblings who will fight for them. Some people are born into that community where at five months they are pregnant. And because they, don't, they are not educated, they don't have a right. They will get mutilated at five months pregnancy, putting their life and their baby at risk. And we will sit down and I will, not, I will say, I cannot judge. Um, I will not, I'm not even judging it. I'm saying, let's re-examine this. Mm. Let's re-examine it and how it will make everybody feel. When they stopped um, killing twins, it was not the locals that came up with the solution. They might be disgruntled, but somebody outside said, these people should not do this anymore. You know, genital mutilation. Some people inside might be uncomfortable, but it was from outside they said, you people must not do it. From community to community, they now had to seek the buy-in of the locals. Mm -hmm. Same way we can stay here and say, or oh, guys that are implementing this rule in, our, in um, Okrika, can you ask your girls how they feel about this thing? Can you find out from them if they are comfortable? And if they find out that many of them go back into their room crying and feeling like uh, um, I've been violated. Chokpe, I, I keep saying, if you look at the pictures, it's not one of them that are Okay, what are naked. Let's, let's focus on the ones that are naked. How do they feel? The ones, they're not they're dragging them now. They look, they look Is it about that? Okay, 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 so wait. today, we are happy we saw pictures of smiling girls. Is there a day we'll see a girl look very sad? Mariah. Is it possible there'll be a day where we'll see a girl who does not want this entire... Until she does not want to see Firidaz. No. Until Firidaz Amasa fought for law school to allow the hijab. Long skirt was judged. Mm. Why are you wearing long It has to be on your knee. I said I don't want to show leg. Somebody say it has to be knee length. We advocated. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I did not tell the person wearing knee length that you are naked, you will go to... Mm -mm. It is bad, it's wrong. I know it is wrong. It is my own standard. I will not be forced. What we're asking is do not force, don't bring them under duress to carry out these practices. Yeah. But an average or Greek, a girl might be sitting in Lagos and say, ah, there's a beautiful part of my culture that I must do. A girl did a video that has been practiced and I know of that thing. She went all the way to Quara, she did the video, you know, of herself traveling to Quara and she called it the cleaning of the breast. And I looked at that video and I remembered my mom and my grandma telling me about how they use that thing to remove uh, there's a word they called it, in the, let me find, like, like they're cleaning the breast to remove worms before the girl can breastfeed. I thought that culture was exclusive to my people until I saw that girl do it in Quara. And then I saw another person in the hospital give birth, refused to breastfeed her child, an evil woman, waiting for somebody to come from her village to carry out a tradition. She says if she breastfeeds her child before that thing is done, her child will die. It's their belief and practice. I didn't say anything, but I totally disagreed. I even hated the fact that she started giving the baby formula immediately. I was like, ah, why are you doing this? He said, no, until my mother comes or my mother-in-law comes. People and their practices, you seek to understand them because you don't know what their ancestors did and the consequence of it. I'm not there. I might not like it. We can advocate that breastfeeding is the most important meal for the child. The first breast milk is important for the child and talk to them. But whatever this, their genetics that they have reacted to and have made a belief, I don't understand. Okay, let me take this call. Good morning, Obi Amaya. They are only too safe naked here. Yeah. That's besides the point, Ricky. Go ahead. Go ahead, Obi Amaya. Live. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I am calling from Abuja. My name is Mr. Benson Obiama. Nice to meet you, sir. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I want to contribute on the on the traditional regard. Yeah. I like what that my sister said, that one that was wearing hijab. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to say in that regard is that um, Christianity in Nigeria is doing us more harm wow. than our tradition. Tradition is a very nice something, but Christianity has blindfolded us. Interesting. Why religion? Mr. Obiama. Christianity has blindfolded us that we don't know our rights and our culture anymore. Mm. I'm, a, I'm, an abode, I'm an abode driver. That I want to give some instances before we come to this Okreka mm. traditional mm. stuff. I, when I was driving somebody. I, I, the man and the woman. The man happens to be a Muslim. The woman happens to be a Christian. Then as I was to take them to National Mosque here in Abuja, the big man there stopped us and they asked me to wind up due to my car was a tinted glass. Then I went down. They now saw that the woman doesn't cover up her hair. So they now asked the man, it's only the man that is eligible to enter, that the lady will not enter. 
So the man pleaded with them that, no, this woman is not a Muslim. She's a Christian. And they said, no, 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 no. Then, where, at the point I am at that gate, I could not return back again. You know that that place is the one way. Then they now asked me to go inside and revise. They asked that lady to drop down so that they would, that lady would not enter inside the mosque. Then the lady dropped. I took that man inside and revised. Then I took the lady again and left. That was number one. Then, last day before yesterday, uh, at Khan, they were doing a dread fair at the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. Then I went there. I saw this. Many people displayed their message. I saw some Christians and I saw Muslims. The Muslims there, they put on hijab. They even came in with some of the incense, uh, uh, incense or something that they bought, not just burning stuff. They were selling their market. But Christians, they were there with the Muslim. Nobody stopped her from coming inside of that car to do her business with her attire. If the Christians did not tell the person, no, you must go and redress as a Christian or you must do this one. Okay. So that is the kind of what you are seeing. This tradition of a thing that a woman comes naked and it has been in full existence. All right. It has not been like negative. Thank effect. you very much, Mr. Obiama. Thank you for your view. You know, is it not interesting why, how it's always girls that are asked to be naked? Mm. You don't ask the single, the virgin boys to come out and show, just to be sure that they can actually have got the endowment. Mm. You know, because I've never seen it. I've, I hardly see a culture, especially within us, Africa and Nigeria here, where the boys are required, especially boys who haven't seen a woman, come out to just show the elders to be sure that this boy can actually father a child. Have you witnessed manhood in the session before? I haven't. I'm just telling you. you but how come they do? They don't, don't display. They don't display their their. They don't circumcise at their ministration. So, here is what I feel. We are having men call and say, "Leave our culture alone." Let's have women from Okrika call to say, to "Leave that. our culture alone." Mm. The young woman call to say, "Leave our culture alone." Mm. And like I said, our culture is part of who we are. Mm. It is not a. It's not. It's not a case of oh, this culture is so horrible. Like I said. Keep the picture, frame it. This is what we used to do. I beg, have the, you ever, the, sorry, have you ever thought that uh, before Eve ate the apple, women were walking around naked? We did not know we were naked. It's mm. knowledge that I met. Uh, they, these <laughs> people have not seen apple now. Okay, I'll carry those another angle. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just asking you because I remember when I was walking, yeah. I was uh, between the border of Benin and uh, Lagos, or was it Togo? Many, many, many years ago, I was very young, and I saw these young girls. They were just yeah. with their rapper breasts, and they were just selling things. Yeah, Nobody was looking at them. They were minding their own business. I, that I have eaten the apple, was horrified. Ha! Hey, but they didn't even notice. Awareness. And now, I'm just thinking, is it because this civilization, yeah. this so-called civilization that we have, is the apple that we have eaten? So the mm. problem, YK, is that some people, I hear that if we, if we have, if men were perfect, let's just, let's just imagine every man understood and had that reaction to listen, I, I see a naked girl, I move I'm on, okay and with. I respect that. But we've had lots of girls who have been molested. We have a lot of fathers who have raped their girls just because of these cultures. Now, it doesn't mean that they are dressed, you know, you, you still not rape them. Mm. But sometimes these things, boys, they say, ah, men are moved by what they see. They'll be, taking, exactly. they'll be preaching this, uh, this the argument to us. And yet, in these modern times, you're asking girls to go bare chested and to come and get approval as they're going into womanhood. And then a guy on the, down the street says, ah, so this girl has this kind of chest, mm. very good. After the initiation, after the, the ceremony, Target. you go and target her for, for, um, in, 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 at night. Mm. The point is that, should we, no, we're not disrespecting the culture, we're just saying in that, in this moment of human rights, women's rights, um, child um, emancipation of the world, objectification of women, of women. Objectification of women mm. should we still be encouraging this situation where mm. we have cultures that makes women an object? There, there are no boys out there to say, ah, you're going into adulthood. Come and, sh come and show us let's your, see what you, your, let's down see what you have. Be sure that it is, is healthy enough to father <laughs> a child. So why, is it, why does it have to be women? These are so many factors we need to discuss concerning this. So nobody's criticizing their culture, but we're just saying, let us examine it. Mm. Is when it still sustainable? Like that, when you put it like that, those are serious issues. Yeah. So this culture is beautiful, but do you think there are sides to it? And we'll tell the people who created that culture that we think you are, you are wise. You know? We think you did well, but we think you should also look at you know, this other side. Exposing these girls like that can make it dangerous. It is in, there, in those strong points the advocacy will come. But the, the first trending point of 
why are they all naked? Uh, the, why are you people doing initiation to womanhood? We did not seek to understand. But when we bring it like that and say, exposing them, so we can give families options. Even in the Lagos and your family, there are mm. different levels to it among the families that carry it out. So these people can say, we choose not to. My family now, in the full uh, South Ibi, where I'm from, we don't do burials. My mother's family, they don't do burials. But people still do burials. My in-laws do burials. So when somebody dies, I will go to my in-law's side and do the needful. And I will come to my side when it's my side. Please, thank you very much. We are not doing. I'm seeking to understand. And I'm hoping that the other side too, they will evolve to the point where yeah. they will practice Islam fully like we do on my side. But to sit in judgment is to even yeah. make them you yeah. know, aggressive towards the idea. Yeah. Yeah. So when we talk to them now and say, exposing these girls, look at the boys that are witnessing. Like someone suggested, there shouldn't have been cameras at this event. Exactly. Oh. Maybe they are trying to get uh, tourism like the Zulu people. There shouldn't have been men at this event. I know that the women in the session they do in my place, men do not attend. Old women carry wrappers. And when the girls are changing, there will be uh, Olandese oh, wrappers that they will yes. use to oh. flag the girl down because they understand the fact yeah. of decency. Yeah, we can advocate things like so that. So they shouldn't have put the cameras I, there. I googled uh, the initiation, initiation of men and that came up. Mm -hmm. And you know, the pictures that we are seeing there is only two naked women. Mm -hmm. There were loads of mm -hmm. naked women. Mm -hmm. I, did, I, I never, yeah. I just yeah. saw that picture. Right, right. Now, all of them were naked. Right. But then I see the one of men. I haven't seen naked men. If, if in um, Iwa ok Oka. Mm -hmm. So I would like anybody from there to tell us if the men get naked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know okay. the one in the north where they do the uh, um, ceremony and the young boys and then are then initiated publicly you know, in one I mean circumcised publicly that don't, the ceremony is big I've seen that one in the, in the past and it was up north mm. so people have different cultures but what I want what I am advocate here is that we evaluate culture yeah you know from time to time we are, we assess our culture and see exactly. what is working what is not working for let's take a few comments but we must also as Africans before we do that Always seek to understand what what it's about. Wait, 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 which is, is a valid argument. Let's take a few comments. Same page. <laughs> but I think so. We have um, comments. Andrew in Street Time says, Ah, so talk about if your boys marry Zulu girls, Sunko, and they initiate their wedding ceremony dress to place, what would you do as Iyoko or mother in law? Will you accept it? Their life, uh, you know. know. Um, Chair Gozia says, The people that own the culture are not complaining. In fact, they anticipate it the way most people prepare for birthdays. Uh, we should not drink panado on someone else's head. Bolaji says, good morning, culture is culture. Word practices in traditional practices is a known fact, yet it is our identity. This is how we cancel culture by deciding what is right or not. Reexamine is another fancy word for modernizing culture. Chocos. Let me take Aisha, I'll come back to you. Aisha from Kano, thanks for calling. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, lady. Good morning. 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 Good Mm -hmm. oh, so. so we should confirm whether they are happy mm -hmm. in the culture, mm -hmm. but you, because it's a repeated... Uh, the Ebika says, um, so just... I know some really weird things happening in the village. I know they practice. I think she's she, um, somewhere, she's from Rivers. I, I'm looking for her text. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Chokus was says, I hope we realize that patriarchy is ingrained in many cultures and has been penetrated for many generations. Perpetrated for many generations. Should it continue? Also, some cultures are cannibalistic. What's the argument for perpetrating such? Okay, let's go on a short um, break. Um, okay. okay. Right, go ahead, okay. Uh, Mina says, we have embraced the white man's culture so, such that every part of our culture seems wrong and needs to be analyzed. What gives wow. you the right to say if a, a people's culture is wrong when they, they are not hurting anyone? Mm, so Let me take uh, Bayelsa. And Nam says, you haven't seen the Wadume culture. Please stop it. Even the Masa, Masai. Miss Masai. Let me take um, Shola from Bayelsa. Thanks for calling, Shola. Uh, yes, good morning. Engineer Shola, you're live. Morning, Go ahead. Morning, morning yeah. sir. Uh, this is my first time. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this, this uh, your topic today is very interesting. 
what I, I'm not a rebuttal person, but I based in rebuttal. What I can attest to this issue is that culture should be respected in many ways. If you condemning these people that because they are doing tradition and culture, opening their body, how can you compare it with our guests walking on the street, opening their body without any control? It's fashion. I get my point. But this particular one is for a ceremony, and it has a limited time for them to do it. So I see no reason why somebody would just say, because they are doing their culture, it should be abolished or they should not. If we continue to think that we, we, we want to copy the Western world, we, are, we get it wrong. This is what has cost us a lot in this country. In the area of politics, in the area of, uh, of our economy, and what have you, we copy everything. That is thank you very much, that is, that is what makes so you know, very, yeah. Thank you very much, Angela. Exactly, Jasha. like if they allow our politicians to swear on Ifa, okay, you see that they won't steal again. You know, I, I think about these Oro festivals and stuff we do here in Ikorodu, and you think of the fact that, so you have government trying to say, talk about noise pollution. You can't be on the streets shouting and preaching the word of God, and you know, because people will report you. And then you have Oro guys, Oro festival priests, walking on the street and shouting and screaming. And I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just I saying that there's them. always that clash of culture, governance, then, what is right and modernity. You've not even said the words of Oro festival. <laughs> which one? So there's the no movement. Yeah. Which, is even, which affects. Which is even, we can even I, I accept. But the consequence of the movement inside no movement. It's You're not supposed to say a woman, right? I think, I thought, yeah, yeah. It's, it. you should not be seen or you'll mm. be killed mm. in some place. Exactly. So it's the extreme. But so we, we must touch. evaluate culture. We must. But we must seek to understand it first to be able to change it. If we must change it at all. Arike Ogunduku says, culture with question mark like five and says it should be checked again. And that's final. Yeah, part. we should check the culture. So we should check it. Let me take this call, then I'll st we'll, we'll try to evaluate that. Um, Obi from Akute, thanks for calling. Yeah, thank you so much. My good morning to good you. Good morning, sir. And good morning to everyone in the studio. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to really applaud our Alaja this morning. <laughs> Alaja is mm. uh, <laughs> For giving us uh, a, a very, very outstanding um, explanation about our tradition and culture in Nigeria. Uh, firstly, culture is a way of life. We should not forget that fact. Mm. You know, what we do here in Nigeria is about imbibing other people's culture into our system, which is not helping us in any way. You know, our culture is our life, and we shouldn't forget that. Now we are copying the, the, the Westerners on how they dress and how they do their things, which is not helping us. Before now, in Ibadan, in, uh, in Abekuta, they will put their wares on the tray for you to buy. You won't see anybody there. You buy, you put down your money, and you go. Nobody will steal your wares. You understand? But right now, we've seen so many things happening over there. Everybody is trying to cut corners to get uh, better than the, the other person, leaving what we're supposed to be doing. With this um, culture that we have left behind, we're inviting other people's culture, which has actually bastardized mm. our culture and turned our economy into uh, a state of disarray. Do you understand? Once thank, we go you. Back thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just I don't even know what what, what thank to you very say much, because it's, it's so we the phone pick calls. And yes, we pick and choose. We're receiving phone calls. We're not talking about people, the culture of stealing or the culture of corruption. We're talking about the culture of leave, letting a young girl calling initiation to womanhood as being topless. That's the culture we're talking about. Mm. We're talking about the fact that you are your, your process to become a woman is that you remove you are bare chested. Paintings are made on your body. You, the paintings are made on your body and you are still covered. This is me as a woman saying that I am grateful to God that in my side of the country, my culture did not put me at that level of vulnerability when I am still trying to decide if I like myself or if I'm validating myself. And then I'm looking at some people to be validating me. Do you know what teenagers go through in their mind? Mm. The pressure The mental of, torture. The mental torture, torture of just being different. You are waking up every day. Your body is changing. One day you're having pimples. Another day you're, you're, your, your breast is going from pineapple to watermelon in front of you. And you don't know what emotions are running dry. And in that same thing, the culture is saying, when we talk about culture, somebody called in and said, our culture is patriarchal. Our culture doesn't consider the emotional feeling of a woman. The culture is focusing on this is the way we, when, you, when we've it. seen you, you are becoming, this, now you are becoming a woman, then they can now marry you. 
We're not thinking about how that makes the woman feel. And that's how many areas... Even how it makes her husband feel when he now finally married. But yeah, you that we've said, they've said, they've shown you out. We don't think out. about it. So me as a woman, on the receiving end, thinking about the girl that did not have a father to fight for her, to say she would be covered, and the fear of missing out, making somebody commit to a culture that they, in their hearts, do not like, that we should reconsider it because we know that there are many cultures we have reconsidered. The good cultures we would continue to hold on to. Nobody here is arguing that the culture of us being honest is something that we should discard. No. But the men calling in, giving example of religion, the men calling in, giving example of, oh, you oh, are yeah, saying... Give me an example uh, of good culture. You knew that to greet your parents. Uh, That's a good culture. Eh, what? You knew that to greet your parents. Respectful culture. Respectful culture is we very, have respect very as culture. Mm -hmm. We have a culture of That's shaming, oh, yeah, shaming two. crime. Two, two, we have a culture two. of shaming crime. If you have done evil, they bring you to the town, the center of the village. Like, oh, this yeah, person has do committed that crime. We don't do it. So we have kept a, a few cultures that we feel this culture... The culture of naming ceremony. The culture, culture of wedding. Thing. Those are, are practices. How do you name thing. a child? How we do How wedding those, ceremonies? Those are things you use the atari, uh -huh. you use your palmoy, you use your... Those are things. It's cultural. That's your name no, a child. Like That's how... Most naming ceremonies, that naming ceremony, they, they've turned it into Christian. Yes. They've turned it uh, into it's Christian. It's so, it's so, so they have not kept that culture. Yeah. Yes. And so many of us have stopped it. What I'm trying to say is, when we are saying culture, culture, most of these cultures, we have... The good ones. The good ones, where are they? We are keeping it. Yeah, okay, well, the Christianity yeah, has, I mean, because religion yeah. has... We, we are saying this one is bad. I'm, I'm not, I, if you notice, I won't, I'm, I'm not saying whether it's good or bad. Or against and I'm just saying what, which one is good and which one is bad. I think what we have all good, agreed... The so-called good ones, where are they? Which ones yeah. do we practice? We so, don't. We, well, I think what we've all agreed on this table is that we need to examine it. Nobody yes, wants us to uphold a bad culture. culture. Nobody here believes that we should, objectify, we should objectify young girls. We're just saying that we should respect it because it's coming from somewhere which I think is a valid argument. Respect before you begin to judge. Mm. Understand where they are coming from. What is what's the genesis of this practice? When we understand this, we cannot better advocate and suggest and get them so they will be the ones to change themselves, not outside saying, no, this is how it must be done. So it will be, I think we all agree. So if that they haven't complained, let's wait for them to say, I don't like it. You know there was a culture where if a woman, if a woman loses her, her husband, it is cultural that they will gather that she will sleep with the man. Yes. She will sleep Drink by the, the side of that man. The Drink the water they used to And that culture, they did not, the, it is not the umwada, I don't know what they used. Yeah, they them. It is not those people that came out to say it is wrong. It is people from the outside that I heard. It is those that were enlightened, that had the opportunity to see that this thing doesn't happen in other parts of the world. Some were unfortunate. And they, they were they there and they died it from it. Don't say they didn't complain. No. Some were unfortunate that they did not. You know, it's the only reason you but can what question something is because it. you have an option. If you never had an option, what you have, all you've done all your life is what you continue to do until somebody gives you another option. Until you come to Lagos and you see that uh, uh, women are inheriting properties. Well, we have a culture now. There's a reason there why is, I'm there's saying... a, I have a conversation with a friend of mine who knows, even as she's spending money helping her, her father to maintain all his properties, that she will not take anything from the master party because she's a woman. And that culture is still being unhealthy today. So and we're not going to say it is wrong. There's uh -huh. a culture that I know that it was made voluntary. That's why I'm emphasizing voluntariness. Me saying, ah, I know this thing is done by my people and I want to do it. It will make me feel good. And then I, someone now comes and says, oh, my behalf, don't do it. I'm the one who chose and opted to do it. For instance, um, the widowhood practice here. People no longer practice widowhood in the southwest where I'm from. But some women will voluntarily say, me, I must go through it. I saw someone who says, I want my in-laws to inherit me so that I remarry within the family. I don't want to leave this family. She wants to look for coin. And people have... Complain that women should not be, uh, you know, inherited. But she was opting for it mm. as a security. You know, yeah. that's why I say, let's seek to so understand. Yeah. Let's see to understand. Yeah. Let me take this comment. Let's see to why. Somebody you, says, according you. to Mahama Gandhi, a nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. So why then should we be calling out indecent dressing? If we applaud the young ladies walking bare-breasted bare in public, why do we then attribute indecent dressing as alien? So you see a girl wearing maybe whatever it is, skin well, thing, even maybe the rest of the organization. They will wear, they will and wear are, rope and we are killing and her. Catwalk. So we shouldn't be accusing and anybody. We will be there. We will be voting. We will vote on Big Brother for the naked women having public nudity and, and sex. And we will make making love beside, beside the thing. thing. And we will vote. And mm -hmm. the person not only vote, we will be voting. One girl sweating all through. 
We he was the bono ah, I don't want to be the bono culture. I, I, I don't watch. You are using money. I have. It's I have seen. I don't watch. You opt in. Thank you, top man. For culture, Voluntary. it is the rights of passage. Hey, you cannot get in. Freedom of choosing. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top man. For That's the your, choice. Your big brother is a choice. Your right of passage is what makes you a woman in that community. It's mandatory. Do you know no. that? In some, oh, no, please. No, don't do you know that. I can't people don't do. Because so, I don't do. My brother has not done this. I can't hear anybody again. People don't do it. People don't do it. Because people I don't, don't that everybody I'm, do I'm, it. I'm there are many of Krika women that will not take part in this ceremony that will marry and born. Don't say that. So Let them like this. I realize, listen, ma, she said she didn't take part. I realize that I am boxed into having to speak up against the culture. That's why I, like I said, yeah. I have to, I, but I have to say it. Because you get married, you want to get married in a village. In my, in my, my in-laws area, for you to get married in that village, you, if you have not buried, done a ceremonial party burial mm -hmm. for your father. Did you agree? Yes, if Call you don't some. do for your father, mm -hmm. you cannot inherit your father's properties. Yes. If you, as a first daughter, you cannot get married outside the village. You need to go to the village to go and do your wedding. Mm -hmm. Your wedding is not recognized. The family members will not come to your wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. This is not opting up opt out. Have you This is a case of the culture. If you have want you to, to if you want we have to it, for us to do burial we run out on of your time. father's no. side, you must, you, you want to go and, if the girl has to bury me, because I cannot bury you. And she has mentioned the Diogbe, she will seek to understand. Okay. So there are central the culture. culture. And I'm saying that it's not option. Where if the first son is allowed, they usually use the first son to uphold customs uh, and practices of family. Each family has their tradition. Yeah. There are some that are king makers. There are some that are royalty that can become king. Mm. If the first child does not take part, how is can he know what to do? The way, what they might say, like, no, they have to against it. I'm not against it. I'm saying, they don't have a choice. People the courts have upheld the So nobody here is against culture. So nobody here is against culture. It's important that we state that very clearly. We just say that it needs to be reevaluated, it needs to be reviewed, and you are saying it should become voluntary. You are saying call out should be voluntary. Sometimes it's not voluntary. Okay, that's all we can take on today's show. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.